Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. My name is Diane and I am with Creative Memories and today I'm going to show you the Devotion series um, paper packs. One is just your soft double-sided paper pack and the other one is actually has one side that is regular and one side that has foil engraved into it which I think is a lot of fun to use. Um, today I'm going to create two scrapbook pages that are going to be super easy and super fun, um, mostly for the easy part, um, that, but at the same time will also look elegant in any scrapbook. So I'm going to get started. These are the, the foil pieces that I had picked. This one has little hearts on it, if you can kind of see a shimmer to it. And then this one just has gold lines. And then this looks like a marbly gray that we'll use. And then this one is um, just a neat design that was in there. And then we're also gonna be using the Platinum Shimmer cardstock for mats. So we'll get those cut first. So the first thing I want to do is just get everything cut out for you. Once the cutting is done, then it's just a matter of placing it on your mat and you're good to go. So I'm gonna take my first designer paper, which is just the plain, I'm going to use this one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my 12 inch trimmer and I'm going to extend the arm out. Lock the little arm in place like so. I'm going to pull that down in the camera a little bit. And I am going to cut. I'm going to line it up at nine inches and cut that way. This is a scrap piece, so you can put it in your scrap pile. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it uh, long ways and cut it in half exactly at six inches. So it's like that. And that's all to this. So those are our first two pieces. Okay. We're going to set those aside for right now. The second work we're going to do is we're going to take a foiled cardstock. Now, one I get to use for the base, and one I get to use for a mat. And I really like the hearts for a mat. So I'm going to take this and we'll use it as matting, okay? The first thing I want to do again is to extend my arm out and measure. I'm gonna take an inch off of each side. So the, my paper's curling a little bit, probably from where it's been stored. So I'm going to flip it upside down, go to 11 inches, cut a one inch piece off there, turn it 90 degrees and cut another inch off. So we have, there we go, we have an 11, line, 11 by 11 piece. And then these two inch pieces we won't use. Um, we'll use them in a later project. Now, I'm going to get four, four and a half by six and a half squares out of here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing I'm do, gonna do with my trimmer is put my arm in because I won't be needing it. The second thing I'm gonna do is shut this. Now on our trimmer, we have a ruler that's right here on the bar. And we also have this little white mark. So you can actually go down and measure to where six and a half inch is. is. And if you also look underneath, I don't know if you can see the white thing, the white notch, that is exactly where your cuts need to be. So I'll just kind of go slow and we'll see how this works out. So the first thing I'm going to do, take our foil paper, um, is we're just always going to line it with four and a half, right? I'm going to close it, okay? I'm going to actually turn my trimmer long way so I can see my six and a half inch. This is where my dot is going to land. So you're just gonna cut down to the six and a half inch mark. There we go. Okay, now leaving everything in, pick it up. We're going to turn it 90 degrees. Line it up again with the four and a half. Shut it, go around this way. Cut it down to six and a half, right there. Okay, put it up. There's our first piece. Turn it 90 degrees. And keep doing this till we get four squares. 
when I first started this, I'm like, how in the world did they get four pieces out of this without turning their pages? I, I was totally confused. Going four and a half, okay. And the last one you come along three. So we have three, four pieces, and a little square. How big is my little square? Boom. It's a two inch square. So you can use this in a later project. So we have a little two, two inch square. So that one will sit off to the side. We're gonna set these off to the side. They are done. Now the last piece we're gonna mess with and cut is our um, platinum. Platinum cardstock, okay. So I'm going to set this aside at the moment. With our punches, it's like, well, where do you start your paper? I was totally confused. So you see these marks here, these black marks? You start your paper with those black marks. So when I am putting this in, and I don't know if you can see it, the, my edge of my paper will line up with that black mark. And then as I punch through, you use these little guides as to where you put your hearts, okay? It's kind of difficult to explain. So here, I'll show you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our paper in. I'm lining my edge of my paper up with the little black mark and I'm going to punch. Now, when I come out, you see the, the square here. It's going to line up with that. Kind of like that, okay? So let me get kind of how I lined up the uh, punch with its out with its I'm gonna punch again, and then you just do that. I'm gonna do that all the way down. at the end. Okay. Now you may have some of these little, I call them little strings that like to be attached, but we can cut them out. We may have to shape it up a little bit, but basically there is our border. Okay. Now three more times. We have to do this. I'm meet my trash can because we need to get this out of the way. Okay. Easy enough. Now what's what's left is what we're gonna use for a mat. So I am going to get out my trimmer again. Okay. Let's cut this to four and a quarter. So we do lengthwise four and a quarter. I am hoping I did that right. Then I'm going to move over to four and a quarter again. Let's see if we can do this. I may have messed this up and not even know it. Boy, I can't measure today. Four and a quarter. Yeah, I messed that up. Gosh darn it. Well, sometimes that happens. Or well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I need two. Three and a quarter. Let's see what I can get out of this. Okay, there's one three and a quarter, or four and a quarter. Yeah, I know what I did. I didn't add it right. And then I need So yeah, that just kind of, mm, that wasn't supposed to happen. Sometimes you get in a hurry and you just have to say, okay, that did not work. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut these. What I'm doing is two, oh, whoa, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have two squares that are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. 
that. And then a, one more, I need one more square. That's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. That. So there we go. I hated that, but sometimes that just happens when you don't stop and think. All right, so that's all. Two. All right, now we're ready to put this whole thing together. Finally, we're going to see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to take my borders real quick, and I am just going to go ahead and peel the and there you are. Okay. So with the borders, we need to cut them down also. I forgot about that step. So real quick, these need to be four and three quarters. Okay. Yep. So if you don't like an end, don't be afraid to cut it off and to fix it. So you have four and three quarters. Okay. And I'm going to cut that end off. And again, four and three quarters. deal with this. Trim that end off. That scrap. All right. Four and three quarters. I'm just going to match up the word slices between the hearts. There we go. There's three. And here is four. So we're going to have two on each. There we go. Perfect. All right. And the other two borders that what we're going to do is we're going to leave them the full length. Okay. So they, they will stay, um, 12 inches long. Okay. Now let's get things together. Like I said before, so I'm going to take my mat. This will be page number one. Okay. Now this one's got hearts on it, as you can see. So we need to make sure it's facing the right direction. Okay. And what I like to do first is lay everything out before I tape anything down. So your big piece that was six inches by nine inches is going to go on the right hand side. I leave, I like to leave a quarter of an inch border around it so we're going to leave it there um, my two mat pieces are going to be here and here so um there's my two for my two pictures now these are for uh four by six photographs are, are going to go here and then I'm going to take one three and a half piece is going to go here and my four and a quarter by four and a quarter, which will hold a four by four photo and a four by three photo will go here. Okay. So where do the borders go? Okay. I'm going to drop this bottom one down a little bit and raise this up because my border is actually going to go underneath this. So we can, and we can push position it however you want. It's going to go like that. And then I'm going to have a small border here and we can tuck that heart underneath there and a small, small border down here. So there is that first one. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the second one for you. Set that off to the side. This is our second piece. So we're going to get our second piece. It's going to go on the right side this time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the border down. 
And I like the solid hearts, but it's really up to you on how you want to put the hearts on the page. I like the solid hearts facing up. We're going to put our two other pieces, just mirror image of the other one. Now, you can do a lot of things with these two layouts, which I'll figure out in a moment. So we'll put that border up there. We'll have to move this up a little. See how I can arrange things without really taping things down yet? And I can see exactly how it's going. So nothing's taped down yet, but I wanna pull them both together. This would be a beautiful double page layout like that. And then um, you can also get the, um, there are stickers and embellishments that go with this and just embellish it, put your pictures in. You can take your corner rounder and corner around the, the mats and make it look really elegant and soft. Um, you can actually use these little spaces here to journal on what the event was. Um, there's so many things you can do with this just, you know, basic, basic outlet, so. All right, well, I wanted to show you this outlet, this these two scrapbook pages, and um, I hope you add them to, my, to the album. I will post the links below for you to purchase the products, and thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.